Okay, guys, we're here with some red-green Ponza mid-range. Not so much Ponza in this build as we see the pillages on the sideboard, but we are rocking the four main deck Blood Moons. Trying to do the old Chizuru. Um, we've got, you know, all the usual suspects. Arbor Elf, Sprawl, Bolt, Foythus, Season Pyro, Bone Crusher, Moon, Chandra, Blood Braid, Ren and Six, and Skews. Out of the board, you know, we get Elder Gargaross. If we want to go a bit bigger, Pillages when we need to destroy artifacts and lands, break artifacts and creatures. Slam Slash removal, Relic for more graveyard hate, Boil for old blue decks, and Unravel, you know, the spicy Unravel. Unravel. What the, Why in January am I sweating in my own room with the... I need to, like, open my window even more. It's, like, hot. Hot, hot, hot in my room. It's cold outside. Ugh. My computer is going ham, it seems. Let's open the window even more. Probably unravel on the sideboard. Oof, now I can feel a bit more. Now I can feel the, the wind coming in. Oof. I think this is a mulligan here. Big oof. I think we go down to five here. Let me skip this song. Sound plays. Sand plays. Really hope my Ren and Six resolves now against whatever Flood Strain is doing. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. Whatever Slide of Hand is doing, I assume I'm not favored against. Force negation there, slide of hand deck. Chaz too. <laughs> I remember when I had to have my windows open while I was uh, <laughs> while I was uh, doing like the twelve a.m. to five a.m. streams because it was like so hot in my rooms because it was the summertime still. And I bet people outside were not too happy with me, like my neighbors. Hmm. Okay, best turn. Hmm. Well, Renan takes is a good card. It sure is. What is my opponent, like, doing? Why are they taking so long? Okay. Makes things a bit more understandable. I'll ask them if they're lagging. Fortunate that we drew two lands in a row. While well, we have Ren and Six. Just throw back stream. Oh yeah. Pop double queuing. I mean, I asked him. This political economic situation. <laughs> what do you, what do you get? Final news? Uh. What day is it today? Today is Wednesday. Oh, another thing in the ice. That could be a problem. Let's see what the man morphos. This is a little bit sketchy, but I think it's good. Hmm. Alright. 
that's not a bad hit. You still do as we'll see any play outside of standard. I am very skeptical for them to see play outside of standard. I don't want to use my random six just yet, because if they block here, then we can kill one of them. At this point, I'm probably just going to minus on them. <laughs> hmm. They might pop up a small amount of popper. Oh no, they'll, they'll definitely pop up in popper. Sorry, I forgot about popper. Definitely pop up in popper. Oh, I assume they're going to flip them. If they didn't, that'd be wild to me. It'd be wild to me if they didn't flip. <laughs> I definitely want to just like ping them here. What is the opponent doing? Hmm. Another thing in the eyes. Well, they did on board, so that seems bad for them. What is this the opening for? What is this the opening for? Demon Slayer. I never watched Demon Slayer. That's probably why I don't know it. I feel like this is the way to go. So it's good. Yeah, I know that it's good. I assume that it's going to get more seasons. And maybe I'll just like wait until it gets uh, more seasons and watch all of it. I may just also read the manga, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch, like, the new My Hero Academia when it comes out, because I've, like, caught up with the manga. But, like, the anime was very good, so I kind of want us to watch it. That's dark, though. What do you mean? In regards to what? Oh, of the manga. Oh yeah, that shit was, that shit was wild. The manga really. I mean, I literally caught up. Like, I think it was the second to last chapter. It was when I caught up. So like, whew, that was that. Also, that last chapter was something else. That last chapter was fooey mama. Obviously not gonna spoil it. It was something else. Ooh. Sorry to tell you, opponent. I'm gonna play a card that's gonna make you a bit upset here. Hmm. I'd like to minus on your card. You got the mutagenic growth. Alright. Mutagenic growth plays. Mutagenic growth plays. <laughs> I assume that was their intention, but, you know, what can you do, right? I didn't do this right now before the this, this Sprite Dragon comes into play. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. A couple different unfortunate things happening in a row. Double mutagenic growth was brutal. Then Grove and Jun punish a fire gun again. <laughs> It did not, don't worry. 
I can't imagine I'm actually going to be able to kill the Spray Dragon at this point, unless I find... I guess I can find... Flame Slash. I get rid of these lands. Maybe they just have no more spells, you know. It's possible that their hand is just like all lands, you know? That's... That's my hope. I'm doubtful, though. Hmm. Hmm. But it's also at 10, so, you know. Oh, wait, are you playing in Legacy? Or are you, are you playing Modern? It's Bolt. I mean, that's good enough. That is good enough. I'll just run it back. <laughs> hmm. Sand seems fine to me. Sand seems fine to me. Let's go over the brain wells my mag channel here. It's an interesting decision, to say the least. If I draw a land, I may just damn float this next turn. We'll see, you know. Why is rain good? Because it's a land drop every single turn. Luckily, why is half this creature unplayable? Let's see what opponents got here. <laughs> what you got, opponent? What you got, old Raging Tilt Monster? I feel like this match has been going on forever. Even though I know it's not been... Happening, man. What is happening? So annoying. Please. 
killing me here. Just killing me here. What is what are they doing? How could they do that so quickly? They can't do anything else quickly. What is happening? Uh, yay, man. This is like crazy. I probably should have just plus there. Probably should have just plus there. It was probably way too greedy to, to do the minus. Got rewarded. Got rewarded. Got incredibly rewarded for my line of play easily. <laughs> D two thirty six. What does that even mean? Uh, does anyone know who this person is? This is like this is this is really crushing me here. This is really crushing me here. I'm just telling him his pace of play is soul crushing. I think this is just, uh, just start minusing them game. You still think monster. Uh. <laughs> Win one game. It doesn't seem like it, because he's making a lot of, like... Like, when the Chandra's on the stack... They didn't, like, F6 ever. And they didn't, like... Uh, I expected this to happen. So I was fine with. Now I gotta stop them again. They just have TBR. Uh, I didn't play around TBR here. <sighs> oh, that's how they get you. I've said this before. When people play slow against me, I uh, tend to quicken up my pace. Usually to my detriment. Yes, definitely am tilted about that. It's complete as I say, it's always completely my fault to let people mess with my mental like that. But it's really hard for me not to uh not not, not to happen. Sand is bad. This is stomping ground. I don't think about keeping it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the sand. But like, how do I make it so like I don't just like tilt and people just like take a really long time? You know. Hmm. 
Sit-ups. Why do I have to do sit-ups? Hmm. Assume this is gonna die. No, maybe not. No, it definitely is gonna die. Let's do sit-ups. The, the problem with that is, it's like, if I had something to do when my opponent was taking a long time that was, like, good content in between that also didn't ruin, like, the YouTube videos, that would be, like, good. But, like, I, I literally don't know how to do it, like, when my opponent did what they did last match. Like, how do you, how do you, like, make it so, like, how do you beat that? How do you, how do you stay, like, mentally sane? How do you stay mentally sane? Because I also, like, want to punish people that do that. I'm, like, very petty in that way, that I want to just, like, like, if I was playing by myself, I would just, uh, I would let the clock time out, uh, to the same amount as they were while the TBR was on the stack and say, we both use their time effectively. Something like that. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, bolt the Bomat Carrier in the draw step. Rotation. I'll be honest, I'm like a petty person. <laughs> and the air deck takes for a thousand years. I mean, I, I just like, I find it like really hard to keep like, keep myself going when like opponents like, just taking forever on turns that like don't, based on how they ended up going, don't make any sense why they took so long. This is really hard for me. I'm not sure how to fix that. When you're better than him at poker. <laughs> why? I mean, like, I'm literally bad at poker because I don't have patience to, like, play the game. I just, I literally just don't have the patience to play poker. I both don't have the patience or, like, the mind power to be able to play, like, eight tables at once. If I had either of those two things, I think, uh, I could be a lot better at poker, yeah. We'll take three here. I'm gonna kill that Lurus. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do it. Um, tournament poker. You just have to fold a lot. I, like, don't have the patience to just fold a lot of hands that I should just be folding. Regularly, like, ring games, like, I can just fire up some more tables. But then the problem is, like, I get too invested in, like, a single hand and try to think about it. Out, and then, like, it suffers from my other hand. Yeah, but I, like, don't really want to play that much. The problem also with poker tournaments is uh, I like being able to like stop playing poker when I want to. But I like tournaments more also than cash because I'm like kind of bad at cash and don't actually understand it very well. Whereas tournaments are a lot easier for me. Tournaments are like pretty straightforward. You basically just fold like 90% of your hands. Unless you want to, like, unless you see a table you can play aggressive on.
Hmm, that's interesting. Interesting. I think I should just attack Bone Crusher Giant and see where we're at. And then I think I'm gonna play Chandra. Let's do this. Well, Chandra plus play Bone Crusher, I think. Okay, now this maybe changes things. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. is fine, I think. Hmm. No six. I need to close my window. It's starting to get a little bit colder in my room. Finally. I'll fully close it, but keep some air circulation going. <laughs> okay, we gotta get back onto the onto the real subject. How do I get myself to actually exercise every single day? And I'm not doing like a lot of exercise. I'm doing some amount. Like I need to go on like a walk every day, and then mix in like what I was doing was 50 jumping jacks, 20 squats, 20 sit-ups, and then doing like some stretching as well. Not very much stretching, but some amount of stretching. Hmm. What do I cut? That's health and happiness. I already know that, and yet I still don't do it. So there's got to be some some negative or positive thing that is immediate. Don't miss a day. Well, I was doing on and off days, and but then I, you know, stopped doing them. <laughs> What are my last cuts here? Oh wait, I'm just, I'm an idiot. Arbor Elf is the cut. <laughs> I forgot, uh, Arbor Elf's really bad against the Lava Dart deck. <laughs> Bring out Arbor Day, get a trainer. So, give the donations in so I can pay for a personal trainer. play dart anymore they literally played a lava dart in game one that's how we know <laughs> there's also some other exercises that i need to start doing which is uh like to help my uh glutes as well to make my like walking and running better i think the goal for me right now is to try and like today was the first day that i walked in like a while i literally hadn't gone outside for probably like five days um, I think I just need to, like, just go on a walk every day. And that. Uh, a little bit of a problem. I don't necessarily have the room to do that. I can, like, make room, possibly, in my room. But it'll be closed. It's a deck. Show you all the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, once you see the lava dark. Like, they're playing the red, black prowess deck. They're not playing shadow. Based on how they played it. <laughs> Pilates. Hmm. Oh, that sound seems good to me. Yeah, it seems fine. 
Yep. We have to do more the next day. But then that'll just make me not want to do it ever, right? Gotta be some daily incentive to make me do it. Or a disincentive to make to make it so that I do do it rather than not doing it, right? I guess we'll have to do 10 push-ups. I wish I could do push-ups. I used to be able to do um, 50 push-ups in like 2 minutes. And actually do them like with somewhat good form. It wasn't that great form. But I used to be able to do a lot of push-ups. And like sit-ups and stuff and like burpees and shit. I used to be able to do 50 burpees in 2 minutes. Was it 50? Maybe it was 25. I can't remember. I do this for like Krav Maga, which I used to do. Solid sleep schedule. Eh. I usually get, at the very least, 7 hours of sleep. Sometimes 8 to 9. I have enough lands that I can bolt that and then run 6 of this. Modifier. Well, I can't. I can't do push-ups anymore because of my wrist. That's the problem. Uh, it's not a problem of like my strength. It's a problem of my wrist. Like my left, it, it messes with my left wrist. That's the problem that I have. I just wake up. Oh yeah. No, I basically do. Yeah. Um. Over the past couple days, it's been pretty bad. I've been able to, like, get to sleep, and it's been, like, my sleep time has been going, like, later and later because of that. Before then, I had, like, pretty consistent, like, I would say anywhere between, like, 10.30, the earliest, and, like, 12, super, like, that would be, like, super late for me. Usually very consistently at, like, 11 p.m., and wake up at, like, very consistently at, like, 8, 8.30. Um, but that not has been the case for the past couple days. I'm, like, I didn't get to sleep until, like, 2 a.m. last night, even though I, like, went to my bed at, like, 11.30. It was, like, a couple days in a row. Not sure why. Bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how they can, like, reasonably beat this at this point with how they're, well, I mean, they don't know my hand, but they're, they were not gonna win. And they weren't going to beat, like, the Clothis in the yard of everything good. And then the uh, Chandra that was coming down. They didn't know about the Chandra, but once they saw the Chandra, they were, they were probably going to concede anyways. Because you had nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. <laughs> yeah, GG's. That game, too, was brutal. Yeah, Red 6 was very good. Didn't you used to have, like, another Twitch account? Is this, like, a new one? I feel like you used to have a Mikey Souls Twitch account. Oh, uh, yeah, I can keep this in. Password. Oof. You don't have the email connected to it either? Luckily, I can't really lose it anymore because I'm like a partner and have like somewhat direct access to Twitch support. And I have an email that I can't really lose like the password of realistically because I have direct access to Google support as well because of my YouTube channel. So it's pretty hard for me to lose any of my stuff anymore. So that's nice. New Giggy. Do you know that Giggy actually gave me the idea again, like reimagined my idea of streaming late at night again? Um, because whenever I'd look at his stream during the day, it'd be like horrendously, well, not like horrendously bad. 
it would be bad comparative to his streams during the nighttime. And I was going like, you know, I always knew that streaming during the day was good. Or not streaming during the day, streaming during the nighttime was good. Or very early in the morning. Because whenever I do those, like, challenge streams and stuff where I wake up very early, my, like, viewership goes up a ton very quickly. And it's, like, very clear that uh, there's a lot more viewership there because of a very clear reason. No one else is streaming. Playing this in the Super? I'm not. I plan on playing Green White uh, Heliod in the Super. This is slightly unfortunate that I'm going to have to do this. Ooh, pretty lucky for me that they did not just uh, kill their own guy, so I lose this, but you know, we take those. My plan is playing Green White Heliod right now. Watch you all the time, bro. <laughs> Like, I know that it's, that, like, it's better because there's no one else streaming. And you don't actually, like, basically, it, it it's the same thing I thought beforehand, which was, um, I don't actually think you need to be a good magic streamer. Like, I don't think you actually need to produce good content to be a successful magic streamer. Like, and I'm pretty confident of that. I used to have that feeling in, like, 2017 and 2018, and I think it's still, like, true now, even with, like, Arena coming out. I don't think you actually need to be a good content creator to be a successful magic streamer. What was I trying to see? Australian stream. Oh, yeah. Players on? I don't know about that. I would say I'm a good player. I don't know if I'm the best player on. Hmm... Interesting. Interesting. I think getting the ultimate off is actually like worthwhile here. Um, the 2 one doesn't actually do anything right now, and, uh, if we ever find a lightning bolt, we just, like, kill him. Doing the super here. Um, I will see how I end up doing in the showcase, but I think the deck should be theoretically, like, good right now. Okay, that'll be interesting. The revenge. What deck for showcase? Green White Heliod. Unfortunate. I'll surely take my round six now. Well, that punished me. I guess they could just take my like Bone Crusher Giant. It's not that unreasonable for them to do. This is a problem. No attacks, wow. That's insane. Well, our hand is all lands now. It means it's probably not that hard to not draw land. No, this is very uncommon deck list from my opponent. Matchup against blue, it's not that bad, I think. Alright, then. Whatever, I guess. I guess they... I didn't think they would have this card in their deck. Uh, yeah, I guess I got... I guess I got really punished there. I think that was the worst case scenario for me. I got very punished for playing Stomping on tapped. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll just 
Well, if we roll the block. Hmm. Right. I need some help here. Need a lot of help here. This is this is some help if I've ever seen it. This is some help if I've ever seen it. Maybe, maybe just maybe we're in it still. Maybe it just maybe we're still in it. Maybe just maybe. <laughs> Okay, we're not out of it yet, still. Still not out of it yet. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, final move, perfect. Yeah, it definitely is a pile. I'll let this through. I, mm, I guess I need to kill this anyways. We have loads of draws that get us to where we need to go. That's one of them. Hmm. I think this is better played. Maybe I miss sequence some things. Probably didn't. This Dust Watch Recruiter is also a problem. I was supposed to kill a Dust Watch Recruiter. I don't think so, though. I still have a good chunk of air in my deck. But Blood Moon surprisingly actually not air right now. Surprisingly good right now, actually, if I can find it. Yeah, B being there is uh, ambitious, say the least. Ambitious. An ambitious play. Only ambitious gamers would make that play. Sadly, I am not an ambitious gamer, you know? I am, sure. Let's see what you got, bud. I did not want to see that. Did not want to see that. Maybe opponent uses this key reference again. <laughs> That's, oh uh, yeah, I guess it makes sense. We need some help here. Start with Blood Elf. I tapped wrong. 
there, unfortunately. I am just dead. Hmm. Yeah. Next card was Bolt, would have been good enough. Hmm. Hmm. Lebanon actually seems pretty good against them. Surprisingly. All my cards actually seem kind of good against them. <sighs> hmm. Well, I think I really think it might be there. Yep, it makes worse. I didn't expect my opponent to uh, have the cards that they did. I don't really know how I'm supposed to uh, side here. Let me try this. Chandra. I think Chandra's actually good here. I don't know if it's bad, but I like the rest of my cards better. Like, I think the rest of my cards are better. That's the problem I have. What does running six kill? The Q one. It kills. Um, most likely a birds or noble hierarch that they're playing in their deck. I love this opening so much. This opening for IQ. I think this is my favorite opening still. Purge. Purge Blaze. Okay, opponent. What you got for me? They're really just playing no fetch lands in their deck. Let's see what we hit on this. Yeah, I think just uh, cast this bone crusher giant. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like this better. No, I'm fine with that happening. I, I knew that it was going to happen. That's fine. Uh, if I get to ultimate this, then I win the game. I know they, like, they need to Coco into Skyclave. They would have Skyclave last turn if they had it. My goal is like if I if I ultimate strength six, the game's over. 
But maybe it's like a misdirect play because like it makes me kind of bad to this guy claim apparition. If I minus stomp them, put them down to like five, or just like play out the four, or down to four, just like play this, I'll probably be winning anyways. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like purge in their deck. I feel like just like a pile of rule spells is like the way to go. Yeah. How did Meme Tron go? We actually went 4 1 with Meme Tron. Actually went 4 1. <laughs> this hand seems good to me. <laughs> Maybe decent to play here. Well, we're on the draw, so. Combo Shops is great. I agree. Slasher. I uh, never watched that show, so no attachment to this. So I'm gonna skip it. A bit low on the low on tempo for me. Oh, this song though. Oof. This song though. Oof. This is a straight banger. This band literally only has bangers. If I tried Rogue Oko Oath, I have not. Slasher, why are you banned so many places? Why do people ban you, Slasher? What do you do? <laughs> yeah, this this hand not gonna cut it. This hand works. So bitch this. Ah, probably bad when I have running six in my deck. Deck is definitely not up to date. Should be something not to. <laughs> I just play like Justin's list. I don't really like see any reason to really play like other lists. I don't know what I'd be like looking for. Yeah, the only card that's different is you play a Mystic Forge over what seems to be an Urborg. Or you play some more Dismembers as well and Needles. I think Worm Coil Engine is not that great compared to Stone Coil Serpent. I think Stone Cold Serpent's like busted. I'm ready to notch on a land here off of doing this. Ooh, am I ready? It's probably bad also to get rid of the scavenging news. Probably a mistake. Aggro Bizarre decks. I understand that, but I. Like, I have found against aggro sh or against shop like aggro shops that you're not guaranteed to get to like six mana. Basically, kind of my problem with it. It's application there. Let's get this down. Brutal. Uchiha37, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. Love to love to see all forms of support. Follow, donations, subs, everything in between. I'm going to get rid of that. Ugh, so disgusting. I didn't draw the land. Three cards. Very disgusting. Mm 
<laughs> Forester Island here, bud. Forest. Mm -hmm. Songs this very very good. It's, I don't know what the band is called. I'll link it. I'm trying to find out what this. If someone can tell me the name of this band, because I used to remember them. It's not Avex. There's just no way. But what is this band called? That sucks a bit. But we'll make it through in the end. Can someone tell me what the name of this band is? Because, like, I can't remember. Maybe I can, like, figure it out by just doing this. I'm trying to find their, like, other songs. Oh, it's Wakagi Band. Because they have another song that's really good. It's, like, one of their live performances that I really like. Force negation, and it didn't. Well, I guess they would have had force negation probably for the blood moon, so they probably don't have it. Do I live in LA? Nope, live in Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. Bring in the oils. Bring in the relics. I guess we kind of have to take out our rails, don't we? Feel bad about it? Like, are you supposed to bring in, like, pillage in this matchup? I feel like you're not, actually. Oh, okay, I'm looking at five it is. Gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> hmm. We'll probably land a Blood Moon. We got that going for us. Renin 6, Renin 60, Renin Ticks. They do. Breaking it down on the base. Well, at least I didn't leave him Marlboros. <laughs> I got a feeling I'm going to lose this game, and it's going to be to solo run of six. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
This may be wrong, but I kind of like doing it. And we can bolt this running six like on our upkeep. Like this entire song is just like, or this entire set is like just straight bangers. I want to keep one of these blood moons to be able to play on the next turn, I think. Punished for leaving up Mount or leaving it Forest. Let's see if Ren 6 resolves. Second Blood Moon? Okay, that's good for me. Imagine playing blue decks in this economic environment. In this economic environment, playing blue decks. Estimates my head. Am I right, guys? Blood Moon, number four. Doing God's work, yes. I mean, like, reasonably, this is the best way to beat the blue decks, I think. Unfortunately, I think this is the best way to combat the blue decks. Make it so they don't get to play the game. Sure is. Sure is. The greatest game. The greatest game. What now? Yama is the best Yama. <laughs> Late night Yama definitely pulls in the crowd. Late night yellow pulls in the crowd, say the least. Are we gonna do the the back to back like a one and a four oh? I thought I was gonna get sold by the Renin Six, but they got sold by Blood Moon. One other song that I like to listen to. Is this a song that I'm thinking of? It's this. Huh? Maybe we can cheese you around Sky Nolet with Arbor Elf Blood Moon. Six has been expense. Yep. <laughs> Definitely helps a bit. Hmm. Swipe blood moon here. Assume they're gonna go get forest here. I'd have to imagine.
<laughs> Got planes, interesting. Maybe they just already have a mountain in their hand. Or not mountain, forest. Island, eh? What's my opponent playing? Well, drawing all these lands is not great, but you know, we did draw one spell, so something. Hmm. Hmm. Benser Shaper Savant. Did not play around Benser Shaper's font. I can tell you that much. Did not play around that. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. It does sound pretty gross. Yeah. You don't want to leave this bull up to play around like some amount of ephemerate. I guess play around the card ephemerate. <laughs> I feel like this is not quite a pog champ, you know. Wall of Blossoms, eh? Yeah. So we got Venser to Unknowns. It's not a bad one to hit. Not a bad one to hit. They can't venture me quite yet, so I got that going for me. Oh no, they can't venture me. I'm an idiot. They have enough mana. For some reason, I thought they were one short. I know they have enough mana. Will it get against the Green White Titan deck? I'm not sure. It depends on what deck. Depends on how desperate you want to be. What will Eric do? What do you, it taps for Green White or Blue? Has Exalted. Sure, I'll take three. They can't Yori on yet, so that's good for me. Don't have ephemerate, please. They were just supposed to play this as a 4-3. I don't know. That's exile. Sure. I 
think it's pretty safe to just bolt here. No. <laughs> okay, so they get a draw card, they make a food token. We need to find some goods off this challenge or else we're going to be in a tough situation. <laughs> yeah, food's gonna make it pretty hard to, you know, solo them. Good thing I left it before this. That's a problem. We didn't really find anything of use. Wait, what? Let's close this. Enter the revealed area. Why is it in the revealed area? I'm so confused. That's a good one up the top. Don't you know that? Getting a good attack here. Problem is this guild this guild goose is actually kind of a problem here. I think I actually just need to bolt this guild goose. I should have just bolted it before combat. That was a mistake. Missed out on like a point. <laughs> they actually just have like, like they'll just gain too much life I think. I think they didn't, you know, gain more at the food. It's kind of wild to me. <laughs> I think we're just going to go to our regular weird playlist for now. Now you give me some variation. I want some variation in my life, you know? Can't kill people or leaders. Teferi. Are they gonna bounce with Teferi? That is an aggressive attack if I've ever seen one. That is a very aggressive attack. That is an aggressive attack. Oh, they're just going to bounce back to the hand. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Attack's a lot better now. This was the hope for the blocks, right?
No ephemera, please. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's doing. okay. Their hand must be very bad. this okay oh lordy hmm section this is a bit of a problem Bounce the guild goose. What? Let me not just get another. It's just for a blocker, maybe. I don't know. Seems kind of loosey goosey. Need something very good here off the top. Need something like another season pyromancer maybe? Nine six. Regards dead anyways. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not convinced Blood Moon is actually good against my opponent. Scavenger is probably like fine ish. Not great. Hmm. I'm gonna use the bathroom and be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, boys. Hmm. I'll keep this hand. Not excited, but we'll keep it. What's this? Oh yeah, this card is like not very good. Basically, maybe be good in standard. I don't know. Hoping I was gonna have a one drop to mess with. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Let's do nothing. Okay, I guess I'll just stop them. Those were not particularly great draws for me. Not particularly great draws for me. This is they path me, like I gotta do Clothis plus leave up something. That's not the end of the world for me. But yeah, I figure. Kind of witness? Sure. What type of hand did they keep? I feel like this is just like the loosest of uses. My opponent I feel like they're the loosest of gooses. <laughs> hmm. A little bit worried about exactly. Oh, okay, that's fine. That I don't really care about that much. I think. I hope they go after Clothis. That would be great for me. Yes. Now I get to abrade this in the upkeep and still get my Clothis trigger. If they have ephemerate, feels bad, man. <laughs> really got the ephemerate? Brutal. Brutal. I feel like I'm somewhat confused by that line of play by my opponent. Okay. Understand my opponent's lines of plays. Not much here. <laughs> I'll just play out the 4 3, I think. Around the clothes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Maybe there's a block, have another ephemerate here. What type of hand do they keep? Like, this is just so abysmally bad. You're on the draw and you keep Eternal Witness as your first play? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> like, Double Fern, you're just hoping for the best? Not just the game plan. We were supposed to stomp there. We were supposed to stomp there. Yeah, Vincer as well. Okay. This combination of things happening is fairly annoying. I will not deny that. I feel like this is just so bad. The hand they kept. But, you know, I guess my hand was super... My hand... Played super slowly, so. I guess that's on me, right? <laughs> this is unbelievable. How do you just have that in your deck? Got, I guess they got me. I just don't know, man. I don't understand. I don't understand. This this man is just a lot smarter than me. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't see it. 
I don't see the lines like he does. He's Neo. He fucking just he's he's he's. I I don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't understand, man. I just don't. I don't. They they've got something up on me, and I don't I don't know what it is. They see, they see through it all. They, they, they're, they're lost in the sauce or something. I don't, I don't know, man. Attack Ren and Six. Why, why not? Why not attack Ren and Six? Who cares? Not the biggest fan of the song, even though it is kind of the edgy stuff that I would like. <laughs> Are they gonna take my clothes this time? Block here, here. I'll try to minus, and then they'll use their burning conforce under probably. That's from FMA, yeah. more than fine trading a bone crystal giant with a forge tender along with a run and six activation right. oh, bone crushers yeah I think I guess we have one more bone crusher we could have drawn yeah you're right we have one bone crusher giant we could have drawn That is a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem card. Very problematic for me. Very problematic for me. Uh, I can't believe we're, like, losing this game. This is... This is something else. This game is something else. Is this the combo? I just I'm actually just stone locked by this like silence. Yeah, I'm just I'm actually locked by the silence. This is insane. Yeah, okay, they got me, I guess. They figured out they they figured out they figured it out. They figured it out. That's all the, that's all I can say. They figured it out and I didn't. <laughs> Both of my matches that I lost is just so absurd. 
I mean, they got me. They got me. All it took was them just, like... And the matchup seems, like, abysmally awful for me. And, like, I'm a mid-range deck that kind of, like, fumbles around when my Blood Moon doesn't necessarily kill them. And they just, they're playing, like, 0-4 is just, like, infinite value stuff. It's just, like... I don't know. I don't know, man. That was, uh... The keep do nothing until turn three hand is a little bit sketchy. It's a little bit sketchy to me. But you know, they got me. And you know, if you watch this on YouTube, and you like the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.